The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. Chapter 3, verse 13 to 17. At that time, Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has ascended into heaven except he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to the Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the exaltation of the cross. This feast reminds us that if Christ did not sacrifice his life on the cross for humanity, we would not celebrate the exaltation of the cross. The cross was a symbol of humiliation and violent death. This cross is now revered as a symbol of holiness. We place them in our houses, we wear them, and we pray before the crosses. The cross become a become an image to be revered because of its role in the salvation history. Realizing the cross once a symbol of humiliation, now it symbolizes a symbol of holiness is awe-inspiring. It uh, illustrates that God can transform the waste using death to bring forth life. The exaltation of the cross reminds us the great work of God the Father through his divine Son. This cross reminds us that our sufferings can be exalted and that can be a source of grace in our life. You are heavy crosses and sufferings. Hence, sometimes we blame them as a source of unhappiness in our life. But, dear brothers and sisters, these crosses in our life can be a source of grace if we unite them with Christ's cross, if we embrace them with faith and hope. Our crosses share the exaltation of the cross of Christ. Reflect on the crosses that are in our life. Do not see them as burdens. 
invite them as a source of grace in our life. Accept them willingly. Unite them with the cross of life. Then we also share the exaltation of the cross in our life. Amen.